Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT tutorial series. The topic for today in UFT is active screen and we are looking ahead to understand the same. So generally these are some of the panes, some of the tabs in the view which allows you to give additional information or ease of access to start working with the content within UFT. So we have a lot of uh, options in UFT, a view option which can allow you to give a better exposure, better experience while working with uh, the UFT content or VB script. So for that all you have to do is to know a few of these options which may excite you or can be quite good enough as an option to assist you with your work. So let's get started with the same uh, before I give any kind of definition on active uh, you know, screen which basically captures the screenshot of each and every step uh, which you perform during recording. So it generally does not capture a screenshot when you write your script. It only captures a screenshot when you record the script because during recording, UFT is interacting with the application. But when you are writing your script, it does not interact with the application. So let's get started with the same. So here I'm taking up a new test. We have got a new test here and uh, we will be just talking about the active screen. So right at the bottom at the pane we can see there's an active screen but as of now it says no data available that means there's nothing to show you if you're not having the active screen uh, in the bottom pane you can always go to view menu and click on active screen it will just pop up at the bottom okay usually it is uh, present by default so no need to worry about that you can just follow a simple step to get it done so let me just quickly record a simple script for you and uh, help you with what exactly the active screen is so click on record and say OK. And I'll be doing some of the activities, not all. It's up to you. If you want to do uh, various other activities, you are free to do that. If you want to try with different application, you can also do that. So we're just changing some values here. And say click on flying flight, uh, select a flight, and uh, just enter a name, whatever you want. Maybe say. Uh, Raj and place the order. So generally once you complete the order it displays an order ID and you close this application and stop recording. Now if you come back to the script you can see there is something in the active screen that is the screenshot which is taken during the executions. So for each line of script you will be having a screenshot. For example here it will highlight the object which you used in this particular line. Next line it is showing you the password field which you used ok button yeah just the same thing you know use the name uh, fly from city but it will have the screenshot a screenshot of the entire window with highlight on what you were working during this particular line so it's one or the other way uh, to tell you that what the script is for example if you're getting an application script from somebody else then it will also help you to understand what this line is doing and what is the interaction all about so similarly for each step it will be having a you know, screenshot taken for whatever you do. And then the close. So you just close the entire window. So there's a screenshot for that. So now what is the benefit of screen, active screen having this during the recording? It allows you to do several other activities. For example, if I come to the uh, to city and I have selected a value here, for example, right click on this, you can see I can insert checkpoint from here. Like I can insert uh, some limited checkpoints. Like I can insert standard checkpoint or I can go with insert output value, view or add object, step generator, insert bitmap checkpoint, insert text checkpoint. Now generally this option allows you to capture and store a particular checkpoint as well or output value. So it's not limited to uh, the scripting part that what you have seen in the previous tutorials. Even the active screen can allow you to do that. But do not go for something like this that you try to insert or you right click anywhere it shows you an option no if you come to an object right click it shows you a standard checkpoint it is for the object which is highlighted in this particular script if you do somewhere here in the fly to or sorry the fly from field it will still add the checkpoint for the second one so similarly for any other object if you want to do right click you can go for standard checkpoint and you can see it is highlighted on the find flights so generally it will add a checkpoint for the object which is activated during this particular line. 
So that's another benefit. And moreover, you will get a screenshot whether the activity was performed or not, or how it was performed. So sometimes it gives you a confirmation about the recording, or sometimes it also allows you to add some additional steps after recording in case you have forgotten to add the checkpoint at any point of time. So that's from the Active Screen team, which is uh, quite interesting an option to understand in UFT. And this should be a basic thing, but of course I wanted to keep it at the end because uh, for that you need to know what exactly the recording is, what is checkpoints and all, so that I can minimize your efforts while learning on Active Screen. So in case you have not subscribed to the channel, uh, please do subscribe to the channel because it will help you to get notified about the new updates and you can follow the series in sequence. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you have any clar clarification or doubt about any other window, then please feel, comment, uh, feel free to comment below. I'll be having another tutorials on different windows here, one after the other, so stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep practicing whatever you learn here. Thanks for watching, team. Happy learning.